Mini Constant Worlds is a meta disjointed journey through the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. Usually. Welcome to the continuation of the Middle Green Mysteries, Our Kids on Bikes game. I, Kat, am serving as the GM. Taryn is playing Sarah Winchester. And friend of the podcast, Megan, is playing Sassy Winchester. Kids on Bikes is a tabletop RPG created by John Gilmore and Doug Lewandowski and distributed by Renegade Games and Hunters Entertainment. Last time on the Middle Green Mysteries, Mom and Dad returned early from Miss Betsy's murder mystery masquerade after an unfortunate accident ended the party prematurely. Stanley came to ask Sassy to the 4th of July event. While he was turned away, he did reveal that Sarah had been dating the quarterback of the high school football team, Troy Trotter. Sassy, feeling betrayed, needed some alone time. She split for the river. Sarah went the opposite way, heading into town, spotting that something was terribly wrong. Old Blue was not in front of the gas station. A quick chat with the pod person version of gas station attendant, Benny. Sarah found out that Blue was with his granddaughter, waiting for departure to an old folks home, away from Middle Green. Sarah raced for the mint green house with the orange door, signaling Sassy what was going on. Denied seeing Old Blue, the Winchesters retreated to formulate a plan, but Dad was home early. They overhear that the Smiths will be coming to dinner. Sassy tries to get Mom's help to get them into Old Blue, while Sarah teams up with Troy to try and get him a message. But alas, they never reached him, and now they gotta worry about the Smiths. July big festival all through town it's a big deal people tend to come out by the river for you know fireworks it's a great place to do it you know facing a bunch of trees but it's because you have this clearing it's it's gonna look really cool fireworks are exciting you guys are dragged along because everybody in town goes mom won't let us out of her side (laughs) Uh, the parade was earlier that day now we're we're all settling setting up to watch the fireworks there's probably like the diner has like a little stand set up with like mm-hmm. snacks and things like that. And carnivals in town. So you get a little, you know, like a Ferris wheel, some rides. As you guys are, you know, walking through the night, you still have no idea what has happened. You've not seen Old Blue at all to this point. Is the granddaughter at the fireworks? Because we could try breaking the bridge too. <laughs> you have not seen her either. I don't think. I mean, you, you can look around. <laughs> you can look around for her if you want. Our shenanigans have broken Sarah's spirit. While the two of you are trying to get into your place so you can see everything, um, it sounds like you're pretty beat down. So I imagine you're just kind of doing what you're told. Yeah. Um, there are other kids around, of course. Obviously, Troy is probably there. But you notice something kind of strange oh, over no. over off to the side. It's kind of... <laughs> I will ask it every might time. might be the law, but you don't know. <laughs> um, you know I something... want it to be so bad. <laughs> it could be. We don't know yet. So if you guys are kind of like set up in this general space overall, like it's kind of yeah. spread out. Okay. You notice something kind of weird over here. You notice movement um, towards the side of the plant. Are you guys doing anything about that? Looking, doing So, anything? like, normally I would be all about it, but I'm a bit beat down and we've been in so much fucking trouble. <laughs> Part of me's like, let's just let them come and make us pop people. I'm tired. Mom's gonna fucking kill us if we get in trouble again. Yeah, but I like death. Okay, you also... Can- we no no we have we can validly say we're just wandering around to watch the fireworks like that's what kids do we roam we yeah ro- so like we could roam over that way and potentially not get in this crazy amount of trouble that's am I is Troy walking around with us if it allowed if invited he would be it's I'm not against it. yeah it seems like it seems like we've. We've, we've recruited past, him. We've both recruited him, and the old blue thing has like gotten us over <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. shit. Um, we've moved past that. Yeah, There's so I, much bigger <laughs> shit to deal with. Yeah, for sure. I I would have apologized. That Me too. Night. I like, didn't take it well. I and I I was kind of a dick about it. I don't know. I, I think understand why of, you didn't tell me. Well, and also the everything about me, I think I was embarrassed. He's a football player. It's weird. Uh, the quarterback, no less. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird. Sir. Yeah. But I, <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah. 
Um, if but, they're going to go, like, way out of character, like, fucking do the damn thing. I mean, I, I'm weird, so I couldn't also be with a weird person. That would be expected. I have I had to go unexpected, so. Love it. Anyways, um, I will ask Troy, like, uh, I'm not trying to get you in trouble again, which hopefully you weren't in trouble. You want to be like an alibi for us, though, because we want to go look over here at some shit. And yeah, yeah, we're in the fun house. Okay, sure. Jen. Uh, and so I, I like having a third party to get in trouble with. <laughs> Troy's like, very cool. Like he doesn't. He. You I would was, think he's not gonna be uh-huh. cool, but he's actually super fucking cool. I think you're a good influence on him. So as you guys are kind of walking towards that direction, you are weaving through, you know, the carnival and events and things like that. And you end up bumping into somebody. Oh, no. <laughs> and it, it's, a, it's a girl. She's a few years younger than you. But neither of you recognize her. You've literally never seen this girl in your life. And you've... This no, town that's, has that's like 12 weird. people. That's not possible. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? And she is she is walking through. She's got big eyes. She's in awe of everything around her. She's got like a stuffed bird in her arm. And, you know, upon like bumping into, you know what? You guys can decide who's more likely to bump into a person and not notice it at first. You are. Well, yeah. My, am I still walking with Troy? Because if I'm holding hands with somebody, I'm probably not paying attention. Probably, yeah. Then, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, she seems a little startled by having like bumped into a person. Uh, and just goes, sorry, and, like, mumbles and walks away. Oh, hi. Wait. <laughs> Where did you get your stuff burned? Uh, also, who are you? <laughs> and before she can say anything, you notice her eyes go wide, but more in, like, fear. And she turns and she <gasps> No, <runs>. no, wait! <laughs> so, roll... Oh, we're grit. running after her! Roll grit. Both of us. <sighs> I don't want to do a flight roll, but would that also, could it be a... No, this is Fuck. this is a grit roll. Oh, shit, 19. <laughs> of course it's 19. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where's um, my eight? Your eight is... Uh, where is it in jail? Oh, I think oh, it's in jail. <laughs> do you want to take it out of jail now that it's been scared for a while? <laughs> yes, please. Thank now that you. it's done its time? <laughs> One. Okay. You want to put it back in jail? Back in jail. <laughs> the the eight is not allowed out of jail. The recidivism rate is so high. <laughs> it tried parole. It violated immediately. Got sent right back. So let's just call it what it is. I'm not very fast. <laughs> <laughs> so what Sarah notices with a 19, especially, um, you see two grown ass adults also weaving their way through the gaggle of people here. Do we recognize them? You do not. You do not recognize either one of them. Are they also sprinting? Are they also running? They're more like that fast walk because they don't want to draw too much attention and sprinting would do that. But they're like doing that like fast walk of like, we want to run and but look how casual we are. Since Sassy like biffed that, I will try to make, I, like I'll uh, ping it to you, like mentally ping uh-huh. it and try to like get you that way. Like, like intercept at least one of them yeah. and offer them a brownie. Like yes, like but I'm headed then that way. Just but stop. also, you have Troy, who's football, who's probably very fast. Oh yeah, he must be faster than me. I'm. I'm like catch. I I will tell him. Like I'm just pointing. Girl, go. Yeah. Well, and he like well, and also I was holding hands with him, and now I'm fucking. Book I drop it. that shit, and I. So I don't Dash. have a character sheet for Troy, so I'm just using. I'm continuing used to the Rick roll. Okay. So we'll see how his flight is. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. He does okay. He does better when I don't try to give him love. <laughs> don't kiss a teenage boy. No. Yeah, that's Preach. probably a bad idea. <laughs> so he he does what he does, and he starts running after the kid. Um. So so all of you are off to try to get the adult that you don't go after because he's. Even with a 19, he's got to be faster than me. He's also taller. Like, yeah. Okay, so. we're each after our individual parties. <laughs> we're fucking booking Yeah, it. but we can't communicate with Troy mentally. <laughs> I don't know. And he's going after the little girl who could just start screaming. So I don't know what yeah, he's maybe Yeah, do. maybe I'll stay after the little girl and, okay. I'll, and I'll point at one of the adults. For Send him, him okay. after the other grown up. Yeah, yeah. He, I don't know that he knows what to do, but like... I'm, I'm but playing. I will, like... 
Got it. But I've kept him abreast of the pod people thing. So Troy will go towards that adult and just put his foot out and trip them. Perfect. Yes. Love it. <laughs> ah, yes. Slow them down. What are you doing with your adult? I am going to go, hi, oh my gosh, I don't know you, and I know everyone in this town. I'm sassy. Let me introduce you to all of our neighbors, and I'm going to grab as many <laughs> other adults as I can, and I'm going to get them around this person. Okay. I'm going to be like, flight. Mm, okay. Flight is D20. That's good news. Potentially. 20! Yes! <laughs> And this person is clearly frustrated, but you know what? You managed to get some of the neighbors to come over and start talking with them, and they're they are struggling they, to like they chat. can't disengage. Um, oh, so twenty, that's amazing. <laughs> you are following the little girl. How big is she? I uh, I mean, like I said, she's like Maggie like, says, like eleven. So mm. she, yeah, I mean, I imagine she might be a little taller than Maggie, like but, five feet. But Shit. she's not yeah, yeah. huge or anything like that. Okay. And honestly, she's probably a little scrawny, like, even okay. before being about her age. Yeah, I'm following her. I, but the reason I ask is because my, my, like, my, my first instinct is to try and scoop her. Uh-huh. Uh, because then the people around me, I can, I, I would, like, call out a name or something. But if she's too large for me to do that... You probably could being 14, and since she is probably a little scrawny for her age. You could age. also fire You could at the very least, like, kind of grab her and spin her around if you wanted and got close enough. Yeah, I'm going to snag her, and I'm going to yell, like, like, I'm going to yell, Carrie, what are you doing, Carrie? And she's going to be wiggling and trying to get away from me. She's like, please let me go. I don't want to go back. Let me go. You can pull the mom and dad have been so worried. Yeah, yeah. But you, you are freaking everybody out. Come on. It's okay. So mom we'll, and dad are going to freak out. Your mom and dad are going to, because we'll everybody charm. knows our parents. Our parents. Roll charm. Fuck. Um, Can I help? You're too far away. She's telling me what to say in my head, though. Uh, okay, fine. How, how, what Charm's kind of help would that be? Um, I'll let you add your numbers together. Okay, good, because... I, my charm is a d4. Okay, I got 12. 12. I got 6. That's wonderful because I rolled a 1. So I <laughs> got 7. She's trying to calm down. She's like, please, can we just move to the side? And she's getting very quiet. Like, I want, I, we need to hide now. Okay, so... Hide. Okay. Hide! I I will... I will... Uh, where are we? You guys are just kind of like in a, a carnival that's sort Take of set up here. You can even just yeah. hide here. You just need to find a place yeah, yeah. to duck where they can't in, see you. In a carnival, yeah, I'm gonna, I will just duck between like a couple of stands, but I'm still holding her. Yeah, that's why not letting her go. Yeah, and I'll be like, who the fuck are you? Well, charm. <laughs> <laughs> She's already obviously scared. No, like, like, she, like she already knows that I suck. Like, <laughs> I've already been who I, who I am. Like,. <laughs> Hey, maybe go soft, sis. <laughs> like, or softer. She's younger. She's scared. She's wanting to hide. We don't, we don't actually know who she is. What if she's like a 300-year-old alien? Fair. But she's not going to talk to you if if you are you. <laughs> <laughs> she will tell you my name is Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie. Why are you here? Who? What are you? Who are you? I, my mom bought those old, like, houses. I'm going to put you down now. But I'm going to keep an, a hand on your arm. And if you take off, my sister and boyfriend are out there <laughs> looking for you. <laughs> All right. Okay. I just have some questions because shit's real weird here, which I imagine is why you wanted to hide. Yeah. <laughs> I've got like grips on her shoulders that's fine and you get a better look at her and you can see yeah she's kind of dirty like you know face a little smudged with dirt her hair looks like kind of stringy like she needs to be bathed um and she does look like she's probably a little underfed who's your mom her name's Annie mm. what old houses the ones I, uh, by the like lumber yard, the living quarters. I guess. 
where did they come from? Yeah, how long have you been here? A couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, when... Where did you live before here? I don't really know. Huh? You just always kind of live in like small towns, so I don't, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So your mom bought those houses, is it just you and your mom? No. Those people who were chasing me lived there too. Yeah, I was gonna ask, like, what were you running from? They just want to take me back. I just wanted to get out for a little bit. Have you been trapped in that house? Yeah. I've gone out a couple of times. Are and they... when I saw all the lights, I just wanted to come see what was over here. And, they... I, and my mom's already gone for the night, so I thought I could, like, get away with it, but they must have checked in. What? When did you get out before? A couple weeks ago. What happened? Um, I just kind of wandered around. Did you meet anybody? Um, I mean, I talked to somebody on the phone. She seemed very sad. Oh, fuck, Elizabeth. You do recall that Elizabeth mentioned that a young girl had spoken to her and you couldn't figure out who it might have been. Oh my gosh. Did you happen to meet a couple boys? By you know, any chance? There were a bunch of kids that like came up and I kind of like ran and hid in the bushes. Are there other people that live in those houses with you or near you? I mean, kind of like, I think they're more there to like make sure I don't get out. But, uh, yeah. You look like you're hungry. Yeah, I mean, we don't get a whole lot of great food. We get like, you know, the astronaut food. Oh, get her some <laughs> cotton candy and some funnel cake. You know, I don't have a whole lot of money on me, but why don't we go talk to my mom? No, yes. no, no. Why? Why? Because I don't want to get in trouble. Well, you're not going to get in trouble with my mom. I can't promise anything with, like, the people around you. No. Stephanie. What if we introduce... Uh... I'm, I'm pinging to you to get, get mom. mom. Okay. Pass on this it. shit to mom. On it. <laughs> okay, fine. Like, I don't have a lot of money on me, but my boyfriend probably has money. And he's usually pretty okay with buying me shit. He Have you ever me. had cotton candy? It's amazing. <laughs> Why don't you just hang out with us for a little while longer? No yeah. one's gonna like... no grown ups. No. Well, okay. I mean, I, Troy's not. He's older than me a little bit, but he's not a grown up. No grown ups. He's not a grown up. I'm just telling you, no grown ups. Well, I mean, <laughs> you have to. That is who is gonna sell us food. Is a grown up, but. I can ask him to buy it, and I'll keep you around a corner, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm on it. I'm find, running my ass off I gotta off find him, though. If you see Troy, like, yep, you need to I'm send him. I'm gonna send him to you. <laughs> God, it's useful to have a third person. <laughs> I know. We get, we, you know, we are very powerful together, but some of that power was just being able to have two people around. Uh-huh. Having a third, third like, an errand person we has just been... exponentially this is, improved this our is power. Useful. I really wish I'd told you sooner. <laughs> because I wish that how, too. How, how fucking great would this have been, like, hours ago, days ago? Oh, like, gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so... Yeah, assu assuming Troy comes around, I, I, I yeah. It was, this he will go and, like, work on getting the food, but wonderful. what are you doing with her in the meantime? Um, are we not safe? Were we... You uh, guys seem to have, like, successfully dodged the adults. Like, Sassy, you would probably see this, that they, they seem to have lost. As soon as they're both able to extricate themselves from their situations, uh -huh. um, they do try to start, like, wander around, and now, because they've lost eyes on Stephanie entirely... They don't seem to be going anywhere, but you do notice that they are tracking back off towards the street here um, and slipping away from the crowd. I am waiting exactly where I'm at uh -huh. unless there is danger until he gets back with food and until you get to mom. Back with mom. 
or, or to mom to tell her what's going on, okay. and that she keeps saying, no adults, no adults, no adults. Uh-huh. Um, because when I hear no adults, what I hear is adults. Yeah. <laughs> um, and maybe that's, maybe that's a problem, because I am actually an adult, and not a 14-year-old th- person, but... What I'd like to do is send mom after her adults. Yes. Send these adults. Like, yes. mom will know what to do or what to look Unless... out for. And understand. So we're like just communicating. I'm watching where her scary adults are going, and I need to get to mom. Unless mom has another answer for what's going on here, yep. I think that's a plan. Okay. Um, but you just keep her like, hidden and safe and happy, as happy as that's she can be. Completely my my plan here. Okay. Um, because if she's evil in any way. We are keeping her at bay by holding her in a spot. She seems so scared. I don't know. I mean, maybe yeah, but maybe the she shit, wants to eat humans. Scared. I don't know. Maybe she's an alien who eats humans, but we're keeping her from doing that by holding her in a spot. Yeah. So. Okay. So, are you talking to her? Are you standing there quietly? I mean, I'll chat with her if she wants to chat. I don't know what she wants to like. I start pulling shit out of your bag. Like, I don't know. No, I don't want her to learn magic. Like. <laughs> Your Walkman. Like, oh, that's a great idea. Actually, yeah, I'll I'll ask her if she likes music. Yeah, I like music. It's Here, you want to listen to my Walkman? Sure. Do Do you, Blake, listen to more than just dad rock? <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Wait, you are you familiar with dad rock? Yeah, I've met met them. When did you meet them? Week ago? About a week ago? Maybe? I don't know. Time passes differently when you don't really get to, like, have normal days. Uh, how did you meet them a week ago? What happened a week ago? Or however, what happened when you met them? Um, roll charm. Two. Two. Roll brains. Uh, twelve out of twelve. Okay. So she does not really tell you anything. She just kind of looks away. But because you 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 are able to kind of read her, you know there is something she is not telling you. Can I use intuitive to try and mm, ask about tail? Can I use my basics of base <laughs> <laughs> to, to lull like, her into no, a no, not like, state? <laughs> like to talk about um, Eddie, basically, to be like, hey, you know, actually, I'm learning bass from the bass player of Dad Rock, though. Yes. Um, and like talk a little bit about the technicals of bass to like get her a little less freaked out and a little more, more open. open with me. Okay, that that does. I knew the fucking bass playing was going to come in. <laughs> yeah. uh, when you were talking about that, she'll nod and be like, my mom really wants them to just put in a real cafe. She doesn't like the diner. She says it's gross. It just doesn't, like, fit. Your mom, Annie? Yeah. Huh. Are there any other changes Annie would want? Yeah, to yeah, that's... Down? that's immediately where I was going. I was thinking about how to word it. Like, what else does your mom think would be good around town? Like, what else doesn't she like? I don't know. She just, she wants to make this, like, the perfect town. How does she make things that way? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, first, I mean, why? Well, I, okay. Um, Smooth edges. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> um, what does she think would be the perfect town? I don't know. She doesn't really, like, tell me. She just, like, tells me what to do. What does she tell you to do? (sighs) She makes me write stuff. Like what? What do you write? (laughs) (laughs) You went to mom. I I am in it. We are talking. I can't help myself. (laughs) That's fair. <laughs> Sassy <laughs> screaming in your head. What? 
She makes you write stuff, like, in a notebook or, like... My mom makes me do a lot of stuff, too. No, like, I... Do you believe in magic? <laughs> you know? <laughs> sort of. Yeah, like... I think a lot of people don't, but... I think there's got to be something out there, right? Meanwhile, I'm in your head laughing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have this ability where, like, if I see a person, I can, like, rewrite them. Whoa. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, scary. <laughs> That's got to be scary, right? Yeah. I can only do it on, like, my typewriter, though. Like, I can't, like, do it just with my hands. Is it the typewriter or is it you specifically? Um, no one else can do it on the typewriter, so I think it's, like, me huh. and that typewriter. Together. Okay. How did you, like, find out you could do that? You just did it or, like... I... Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I was writing a story and I, like, used someone that I knew an example and it like changed them wow has she done this in other towns <laughs> i'm getting there oh don't worry i'll see Sarah, you, baby i bird. just can't I'll help see you, baby bird. <laughs> <laughs> no I, i'm more letting you know like i've heard i've heard you i i will i've got that question in Locked the chamber in now and i will get there um Have you been changing a lot of people around here because your mom has you do it or? Yeah, she keeps bringing people like out so that I'll do it. Do you remember if this is like the first place you've had to do it? Or... Uh, Yeah, I think I, kind of. I think she tried it, like tested it before, um, but this is like, like she's bought up a bunch of property um, she's trying to buy the like plant thingy over there and, yeah. um, she wants to buy up more of the land and everything. Do you, Mom! <laughs> Do you like doing it? I mean, it's kind of cool, but it, I don't know. It's weird. Have you ever... I don't like just sitting in the room with the typewriter waiting for like another person just do whatever my mom thinks is the greater good. Have you ever tried to like change her so she won't make you do that? She locks up the typewriter like when I'm not actively like doing mm. the, th the thing in her office and stuff. And like she takes the pages and stuff so I can't even undo what I did. Completely random. When you get a chance, will you ask her about the Smiths? Oh, yeah. 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 Is it locked up right now? Yeah. But, right. like, if we could get you to it, you could probably, like, undo the stuff that's happened here. No. No. Like, we'd have to get the the pages that I wrote it on. As long as they exist, they'll... But if we, like, burned them, yeah. that would undo the changes, and then you could, like, change your mom so she wasn't such a bitch. <laughs> no no offense to your mom, <laughs> but, like, most moms are kind of bitches. I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. Do you want that? I mean, yeah, probably. This kind of sucks. Like, you could just change her so she doesn't even remember the typewriter exists. Like, I mean, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> like, if 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 this is if this is hers, it's hers. It seems like no, but I mean, just change mom. Like, if you were gonna do a page on mom, no, just... but she might find this out again Regardless. later. Mm. But. If she was changed to, like, respect her daughter's autonomy and wishes. And magic. And magic. This won't happen again. Got because it. she would never change it to change it. Yeah. But, but her daughter should get to have the choice. I mean, it makes her a god, and that's kind of worrisome, but, like... <laughs> You well, know, we can deal, we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Step one, let's get the people back to their fucking normal shitty selves. Yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't realize how much I would miss, like, this town just being sh a shithole. Like, it was the shithole I know. I don't want it to be someone else's shithole. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, we get to this stage of Kids on Bikes where you guys co-control a power character. Oh. And you each get a trait to kind of operate here so pick your trait oh oh we 
you pass me one. Yeah. I trust your judgment. Thank you. And tell me what trait you each get, because that's going to be the part of the character that you want to embody with them. And if you need help getting through the stars, let me know. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. It's like unwrapping a present. <laughs> if you smush it, it's a little easier because you can kind of just un unfurl okay. what your trait is. <laughs> no one will be surprised by my trait. What did you get? Asks a lot of questions. I got good at reading people. Yep. So Incredible. These are the parts of Stephanie that you control. Okay. Um, in her bag currently, it does say that she has the typewriter. It's a typewriter without an N. You guys would know that as Stephanie. Um, okay. She does not currently have it. It's basically locked up, but she does have freakishly, like, ridiculous strength because she can haul that typewriter around. Okay. Jeez. Okay. So... These are the aspects of the character that you will embody and kind of take over and be like, no, you know, Stephanie's so confused by like fireworks. She's asking every question about firework. <laughs> Who is this sweet little human? Okay. Okay. Fears adults a lot. The dark and graves. Oh, you guys are not going to get along. <laughs> Motivation is finding safety. Flaws unsocialized. <laughs> She's feral. <laughs> <laughs> you have found a feral child. Oh, that's incredible. Aww. I don't know what the mama bear in me is so happy about that. <laughs> okay. So, you guys have, have learned about what is actually happening to your co-townspeople and it sounds like you are beginning to hatch a plan troy does show up with the like cotton candy and funnel cake okay i look like stricken <laughs> in a way that like i i think that i'm generally pretty unflappable and i'm like i am upset by everything i've heard so uh yeah there's that <laughs> So he's going to ask, what, is everything okay? Mm, no, uh-uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's going on, I think. Okay. Uh, I've, I have kept Troy abreast of everything going on, which... What you don't know is I've actually been keeping Troy abreast since our very first game. Mm, I did not know. Um, Makes sense. Yeah, uh, I've been I've been waiting to get to tell you, um, but j I, I've been keep. He, he knows. He knows everything yeah. going on. So as I reveal to him, he already knows everything else. Um, this is Stephanie. Stephanie is magic. Real magic. Big magic. Okay. And she's kind of what's happening here. It's not pod people or alien. Well, I mean, it might be. She still might be an alien, but... She's standing right there. She can hear you. Not an alien. Are you... Sh I mean, you don't know where you're from. I mean, but I think I'm still like a human. Aliens are cool. I don't mean this as, like, disrespect. Aliens are kick-ass. But, okay, she's not an alien. I just, I just was raised different in yeah. what my mom calls the crimson. I think she just likes that color, though. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that's ruined for me. <laughs> Never wear crimson again. Uh, it's her favorite lipstick. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. Um, they're over... By, by the plants, the lady who's been buying up everything over there. Oh. She's been having Stephanie here make changes. To the town and to the people. Yeah, she uh, uh, wants a coffee shop because the diner is dirty. I mean, that's part of its charm. Right? Will you ask but, her about the Smiths and Old Blue? That's right. Uh, hey, Stephanie, what's going on with Old Blue? Have you done anything with him? 
Uh, if that's the old man they brought up? Yes. Yeah, he, he usually used to sit at the gas station? I don't know. I don't really know, like, the town that well. Yeah, what happened in? Uh, for that car to go. I don't know, they just said to write him, like, I think, like, a docile old man who wants to watch, like, soap operas? So that's, I mean, that's what I wrote as best as I could. Like, my typewriter doesn't have an N key, so I kind of have to get really creative this with the words. This can't stand. <laughs> that I use. Um, okay. Thankfully, soap opera doesn't have an N in it. But, um, you know, old man, I can't type. Yeah. I was able to go, like, geriatric. That's a good vocabulary. <laughs> I'm impressed. We don't have an N key. Yeah, it makes you have to think. Old Blue has become a docile old man who watches soap operas. That's so sad. <laughs> yeah. Did they, she do anything to the Smiths? I haven't made it there yet. Okay. I have questions. Can we, should we let Stephanie go and get home? Would she be in danger? Could we find a way to communicate with her if we do that? And we suck at breaking into houses, so we need to figure out how we're getting a hold of those pages in that typewriter. Hmm. Is this even a power she wants? Because she could write herself to not be able to do this. Yeah. I have. And how dare they? Old Blue is perfect. Have you done anything with the Smiths? Are the Smiths involved with this? Yeah, they're my mom's friends. They're part of Crimson. Okay. What is the Crimson? Like a group. It's the group my mom leads. Okay. Are there more of them in town? Um, there's some. Like I said, there's like some to like, I think, keep an eye on me. But that's what those two who are following me were. They're members. Is your mom, like, at the 4th of July stuff, or is she back? No, she left earlier. She usually leaves before dark. Do you remember when you guys had gone out to find Elizabeth Tilbury's grave the first time, when you found the downed phone line, there was a big Buick coming out of there. You did let the adults know about the road being used. Yeah. Oh, But you don't know anything further, like, did they find something, anything like that. Oh, fuck. So she's back at the, at where you live? No, she, I mean, I don't know where she goes. She doesn't stay here, though. Not at night. How many people are probably back where you live? I only usually see, like, five. And at least two of them are out here looking for you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, this isn't a two-story B&E. Mm. Still looking for mom. Can you see if it's best if we hide her or if we let her go so that they don't suspect that they've been compromised? I don't think she wants to... I mean, if we let her go, I think she's going to try to hide herself. Let's ask. Let's okay. just confirm that that's what she wants. Do you want to be hidden or do you want us to just let you go and you go home? And and if we let you go, is there a way for us to contact you? I mean, the like cabin that I stay in is like right against a wall. You could probably like, if you had like a flashlight, you can usually see. Well, it just so happens. We absolutely have flashlights. Do you know Morse code? Yeah. Fantastic. We can Morse code you. Um, If we were to show up and Morse code you, can you help us get in? I can try because, I mean, I know how to get out. You could probably go in the same way I get in and out. Can you Morse code? Do you have a flashlight and can Morse code us back? Yeah, do you... 
Yeah. I I mean, they give me a candle, but I don't really have like a flashlight. Do you have one you can just hand her? I I should have a flashlight. Yeah, I can. Give, is are you going to be caught with this, or are you going to be able to sneak this in? I can probably sneak it in. And I will give her my flashlight. So add to her bag that she's got a flashlight now. Do you got it? The- and. It's been a while since I've looked at these, but technically here are more traits. To divvy up, there's obviously an odd number of them. Okay. I love these. Oh! <laughs> Except that they pop. <laughs> okay. Oh, I worked this one wrong. This trait is... Stuck. <laughs> Do you need help? No, I'm gonna get it. Maybe. Ah. Uh, ignorant of social norms. can tell you any of the ones that they are because I know. It's just a way to keep it a secret. I love it. Able to lift more than expected. Like a... Clunky typewriter, probably? Yes, clunky typewriter. Is this group has a destiny, but only together? Yeah. Okay. That is what Stephanie believes. She believes that you guys have a destiny... But only as a team. Uh, lacks an internal monologue. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then uh, power of personality rewrite, but only on special typewriter, spectral typewriter. Special typewriter. Special typewriter. So basically, it sounds like Megan is controlling her freakish strength, <laughs> and you are controlling her freakish ability to type up a new personality. Okay. Those are the okay. aspects you guys are controlling of this character. Okay. Okay. To inform how she behaves in certain scenarios. Okay. Because remember, this is a co-op game. Sure. So, are we hiding or are we turning loose? It sounds like she's heading back and okay. going to let us in or try to help us get in later. Did I ever find mom? You did not. Son of a bitch! (laughs) Where are parental units? Everybody seems... There's just such a throg of people. Um, I'll I'll ask Troy if he's down for B&E later or at some point. One that might be more successful than (laughs) what we did later. And as he's been there for the actual verbal part of this, he does know what's going on. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I can can help. (laughs) You're the best. Stop! And she, Stephanie, before she departs, will tell you to go to the side where all of the dead people are. The cemetery side. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I'm glad that you got that (laughs) because I'm going, where are all the bodies? Well, for a sec, I thought the river. (laughs) But that's fair. She probably means the cemetery. Okay. Because I believe she's afraid of graves, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Her, she is, she is essentially in the bunkhouse that overlooks the cemetery. Got it. I feel like we will have the best shot while the fireworks are going. Because the most people are going to be all the way at the other end of town if we want to do this tonight. They're going to be all the way at the river and the cemetery is here, is it not? Yep. Like, we yep. need to be all the way it. over here. Yeah. This one you gotta get to. Yeah. Do you think they're going to be on high alert because Stephanie took off? They're looking for her over there, there and they think that she wants to see the lights and the fireworks. And the longer that she's gone, let's go. The more likely that, like, 
the other three might go looking for her. I couldn't find mom for shit. I'll leave her a note at the house and tell her where we're going. And... Don't. Mom? What if something happened? And also, what if mom is still out there and then anybody goes looking in the house for where we are? Mom will figure it out or she won't figure it out. But nobody needs to know where we are. All right, let's go. Troy is going to say I'm going to grab my bike because that'll be a lot faster than walking all the way to the cemetery. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think we all need to get our bikes. I got lemon. Uh, Yeah, I... I'm sure I have hers somewhere. Um, right. We, I don't think she probably has a bike. No, but Stephanie. she's she's pretty spry. She's she's got it. She has she's her freakishly ways. strong. Okay, and so are we letting her go ahead then? I would recommend it, but that is okay. your guys' call. Obviously, Troy's they're going to be like, on red alert. We got to go grab our bikes her. first because he doesn't have his with him. We'll probably so, meet up about the same time if we go Yeah, back the we bikes. need to let her go ahead. We also need to try to make sure that she is just out of sight because the whole point is, mm-hmm. like, try to lure more people out. If we don't have to face the other three people Agreed. that are in there, that's fantastic. Uh-huh. So, uh, make, like, just, just definitely make sure, like, I, I am telling Stephanie, do your best to not be seen. But if you could get glimpsed a couple more times amongst this carnival and freak them out, if that's possible, do that. If it's not a good idea for you, don't. Because more than anything, we need you to get back there. I think that puts her at higher risk of getting caught. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then yeah. So just I think you just keep her out of sight and head okay. back. All right. So, when do you want to roll her flight? Uh oh, I she have, has her own. Yeah, it's on her okay. own. Set. Uh, ten plus one. Uh, do you want to roll or should I roll? Go for it. Fuck, that's done. <laughs> uh, D10 plus one. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, nine plus one, so ten. Oh yeah, she's she's able to get away excellently. She, you guys don't even know where the fuck she went. Sweet, fantastic. She is clearly a master of this. Wonderful. So, yes. all that sneaking out is done good. Stephanie. She heads on her way back. Troy is going to go grab his bike and meet you guys at the corner. Okay. All right. To cut up to the cemetery. And we'll make sure to get our bikes. Uh, If it seems safe to run in the house, are there any supplies that we want to grab? You need to make sure you've got your flashlight because I gave mine away. Uh, Let's grab an extra just so we can each have one. Wait, if we've got extras that we can grab, I'd probably tell Troy to grab a flashlight. Yeah. Um, Anything we're going to need for spells. Yeah, I already threw one candle and some matches and shit. So, so I think we should restock on any spell and magic stuff we've got. Yeah. I also think, like, we should consider doing protective spells before we go in case shit gets goes bad and, like... And I agree. And we should wait until we've got Troy because I'm sure we are protected. And I am sure I've probably done a protective spell or two on him, but probably nothing that sticks that much and probably not with his permission. Well, maybe with his permission. (laughs) Agreed. Let's uh, get his butt over here. Let's do as much protective magic as we can and let's stock up on any and all supplies for protective magic moving forward. And we should have snagged Stephanie and done some protective magic on her as well. Yeah, I, we should have. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think he said he was going to meet us at the corner, he but did. hopefully, yeah. hopefully he'll just come to the house. Let's just bring all the shit with us. Yeah, that works. That's fine. There's two of us. We've Lemon's got, got a bag. basket. And yeah, Lemon I've does got a have a basket. And, and I've, a got, I've got my bag that I carry all the time. So yeah. We've got I, space. I think we, as long as the house is good, we restock mm-hmm. and we get the fuck out. All right. So you meet Troy at the corner. He is waiting for you with his bike. He does have the supplies you told him to get, like a flashlight. You okay with some protective spells? Uh, ch- sure, I guess. Yeah, so, but she means on you, just I, to clarify. I figured it's okay. fine. Well, I mean, on all three of us, but yeah, you probably need more. Like, we're, we have them all the time, so yeah. they're kind of residual, but okay. we've yeah, got built up. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I, he, plus you do whatever you want. Sweet! Let's go <laughs> to work. You guys cast your spells. Um... 
as you're you're riding out to the cemetery, he does mention it. I grabbed a flashlight and like our flare gun. Sweet. I don't know if it'll be useful, but Can't we hurt. have it. <laughs> Love a good flare gun. Can I kiss him again? Because <laughs> yes, legitimately, <laughs> this yes, you get I it. I know. I get it. I do. It's nice to have another partner in crime. Uh, Stanley will throw down for you. <laughs> no, uh-uh. you need a competent partner in crime, and Stanley ain't it. Maybe not right now. No. Pass. Stop <laughs> trying to make Stanley happen. <laughs> Look, I just, I if he says Stanley's, like. I mean, we could not burn his, or we could write him to be better. What is the no, likelihood uh, of more than one. I think we should be doing that. More than one teenage boy being tolerable. What are the odds? <laughs> Who else are you going to meet in this town? I'm getting the fuck out of here. This is the game plan. Why are, are we here for why, life. Why are we fixing this place if you just want to leave? We're helping Stephanie. And also, I don't want these weird fuckers rewriting us or our parents. Okay. Counterpoint. Do you think you don't need to practice at this shit before you go meet other people? I don't care. I'll start fresh and green and figure it out. I'm not fucking with Stanley. Okay, Ew. okay. Okay. We have to drop the Stanley thing. Okay, okay. I mean, that's fine. He's kind of a douche. It's just... Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. He's just, this is what I've been saying! <laughs> once those pages get, like, destroyed, he's just gonna go back to being kind of an asshat stoner. <laughs> a bigger douche. Yeah, but it's really not right to, like, <laughs> yeah, mess with people's heads like that. No, no, let's fix so, him. Let's put yeah. him back. No, I'm not telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> no. We're not so, fucking with anybody's brains. You ride on out. Except for her mom. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe our dad. Ooh. But yeah, uh, sorry. You ride on out. You get to the old cemetery. Takes you probably 15, 20 minutes. From the point that you're leaving with the bikes, like, not the time. Okay. So, Stephanie is for sure probably back in there and where she needs to be. Okay. So. Can we Morse code coast clear? Uh, yeah, if that's if that's the thing that you, you're thinking. Like, mm -hmm. Let's go to the spot Morse. she told us and let's okay. Morse code and ask yeah, coast clear. Hit it. hit it. So, takes a minute, but you do finally get a response. That there is a hole in the fence um, just, like, south of the blocked off road. So, somewhere around here. Because there used to be a path to go to the mm -hmm. old cemetery. So, just around here, there is a hole in the fence, supposedly. And that is how she's been getting in and out. So, we leave the bikes and go through this hole? Let's leave them, but they need to be hidden and close by in case we need a quick escape. Okay. Okay. All right. So bikes are secured in the graveyard mm -hmm. and you guys are all squeezing through the hole. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, it an under like fed 11 year old has been squeezing through this. You guys are all a little bigger. Troy especially is having some trouble getting through, <laughs> but yeah. you guys make it. You make it through. Technically, you do have the option of, like, going over the fence because, you know, you are yeah. a little bit bigger. You could climb. Pass. I'm yeah, not a climber. I think as long as we can get through the hole, I think going through the hole is going to be better. So you, but remembering we can go over it for later if we yes, need to go if quick. we need it quicker. So you get through it, and you can get to the bunk that she's in, which is just because that's how you guys saw the Morse code in the first place is it was coming from one of the windows on this building. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh... Stay low, mm -hmm. go underneath the windows, no flashlights, no mm -hmm. lights, just going careful to the window where she was, I think. And she will open the window so you guys can climb in if you want. What is the objective? Trying to destroy the sheets, potentially rewrite her, her mom. wicked mother, Yeah, and then leave Stephanie and her typewriter to be? I think so. I There's think no concern of binding her magic? I don't, I personally don't think that that's our place. It sucks because it leaves her in a position to do some really fucked up shit. But that's still just not, like, why would she ever need or be entitled to have magic where she could rewrite someone's personality? It doesn't matter why you need it or, or are entitled to it. If she was born with it 
and then has the tools to do it. If, if that is just innately hers, that's her business. It's not, it's not our say to bind it. Like, it's not our say to deal with it. But that's just where I'm coming from. Like, that's just my point of view. Can we put that on the table and come back to it? Yeah. Okay. I think, I think, I think getting through our primary objectives and then dealing with the bigger issue at hand is probably, okay. is probably better. All right. So as you are in the room, she will close the, the window once you're in. Because that would look weird. Yeah. Her window was open. And she'll just kind of look at you both. Well, three. The three of you. Because there's yeah, three of you there's now. there's three of us. Yeah. We need good hiding spots or we need the lay of the land. We need to know where all the stuff is locked up. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to take in the room for sure and see kind of what's in her bunk room. So it's mostly empty. It's It's got a bed, a desk, where you can see, like, that's presumably where she will write, but there is no typewriter on this desk. The room is mostly empty. She's got some toys in there, but not a ton. Where is your mom? Keep the shit. She keeps it in, like, her, like, office, I guess? Where is that? It's, like, not this other building here. That's where people, like, sleep. But there's like a small building after that. In there, there's like a safe or something that she sticks everything in. Okay. Who else is in this house right now? No one. This is just my room. Who's in the next one? Um, normally, that's where everybody else like stays, like, like kind of keeps an eye on stuff. Um, so the two people who you guys saw earlier. Uh-huh. And then there's, like, a cook who feeds us, sort of. Again, it's, like, astronaut food. It's not very good. Um, <laughs> Space food, like, for aliens. <laughs> Stop trying to make her an alien. <laughs> it would be so cool. <laughs> um, and then just, like, a couple of other people. Like, they trade off, like, shifts of, like, watching to make sure everything's okay. And they open the gate, like, when my mom shows up in the morning and they close it when she leaves. Is your door locked? Yeah. Okay, so you're not going to like this plan. Okay. We need to figure out how to break into the office, how to break into a safe, and we need Troy to go to the other side of this her room and possibly flare a gun to create a distraction. So everyone's looking or running out that direction, and we're going to go the direction of the office and take care of this. Where's a football player? He can run really fast. We need eyes opposite of where we're going to be and trying to do what we're doing. Yeah, no, no, no. I agree. I'm just trying to, like, what is the best timing for that? I think now. We, mom's out. The people are on the freaking fireworks thing no, looking yeah. for her. But if the three of us go back out this window. Uh-huh. And creep around. Uh huh. And then we give some kind of signal when we're ready to break into the office. Uh huh. That's when you flare lights. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I mean. It's like not now, now. No, no. But like. Once we are in position. But yeah. before we get in position, I think we need to have a game plan of how we're going to get into a locked safe and a potentially locked I think office. we get into the locked safe with the abnormally strong girl. Oh, we're bringing her with. Because she's abnormally strong and she can break locks. It's a good call. Plus, we are going to need to burn papers and we're going to have to put paper. Like, she can just do the typewriter there instead mm -hmm. of bringing it back here. Okay. Like, there's no reason to... Like, that's more steps than we need. If he gets everybody running that way, then we've got time for her to just get in the... Uh -huh. get a, we can get in the office, get in the safe. She can... And be done. And she can be typing as we're burning. Okay. So that's that. That's I like that plan. Think. How are we gonna let your dude know it's time, and we're ready? Or us do flashlights like flashlights some in a uh, They'll see it. Yeah. Can any of us do bird calls? No, not in my like wheelhouse. Whistles. Um. I mean, we could do like a janky owl. Woo <laughs> <laughs> um. Has Troy been teaching me how to throw at all? 
If he wanted to learn, he would have shown you some. I mean, if it means that he's, like, putting his hand on mine, obviously. Then that yeah, feels probably. like a teenage girl thing, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, why don't you show me how to do this? Yeah, yeah. exactly. I can throw something this direction, Good. right? Yeah, it yeah. seems like, like a decent sized rock and just chuck it. Yeah, he can I'm hear it. terrible at it. Um, just don't hit him with it. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I can throw it. I'll throw a candle. I can oh, throw a candle. Okay. It, it, it spirals like a football, right? Eh. I don't think so, uh-uh. but I think it's more like a dart. I mean, you can throw them both like, now. That's what I was thinking of, like a, dart, like a lawn dart. Ah, uh, okay. We'll figure it out. What am I doing now? We're grabbing Stephanie. We're sending Troy one direction with the flare gun. We're headed another direction. Yeah, you're gonna like flare in like from here and then over the fence on your bike and just go. Get the fuck out. Okay. Just leave. But like go. Flare gun, you want as big a scene as you can make. Like yeah, if yeah. you can hit it and start a fire, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay, do you, are, am I aiming for anything in particular that you want me to aim for? We trust you. Oh, There's okay. nobody left in this bunkhouse. No, uh-uh. I, yeah, we trust, like, okay. you're a teenage boy. But Make a big distraction. Bunkhouse needs to be far enough away that the light of whatever you're doing doesn't hit the office. So, go that way. Okay. We, we're just trying to pull them away from the actual office. Okay. The three of us are going to break in there. And okay. Go from there, cause a scene and get out. Yeah, cause a scene, get out. If they chase you, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Just go fast. Mm-hmm. Okay, gotta go fast. Just don't let them catch you. So then he will. He will agree. He's probably gonna go ahead and get out the window for now, so that he can mm-hmm. do what he needs yeah, to do I once mean, you guys are clear of the building. Okay. That's. I think that's where we're headed to. Yeah. Okay. Um, so everybody's out of the window. Yep. Um, I am going to say that those of you sneaking towards the office. Need to probably roll flight. Okay. Okay. Do you want to roll for Stephanie? I rolled for Stephanie last time. You rolled for Stephanie this time. Okay. Okay. Is this my D10? I don't know. It's a D10, but we'll do the one that has like skill digits. Thank you. (laughs) You're funny. It was a two again. Alright. Mine's a 14. And Stephanie's is a nine. Okay. So, you're kind of creeping. I feel like I'm I'm worried about (laughs) the other thing that's happening. Yeah, no. um, You accidentally bump into something and you knock it over and there's a little bit of a noise, like, as it rolls away. (laughs) I will will tell you two to keep. (laughs) Like, I will freeze where I'm at. I can't go without you. Yes, you can. Go. Okay, so you and Stephanie continue on your way. Um, Troy, having seen this, he is also rolling his flight, which he did great. He got an 18. Go he, only gets, he only gets a d20 to work with because he was not given a stat sheet. I didn't expect this. <laughs> <laughs> it works in your favor. <laughs> so he's just going to motion for Sarah. Just go out the hole. Yeah, just go out the hole and he's going to like... He's going to handle it. I, I Yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll go out the hole then yeah (laughs) so he's gonna go he's actually gonna go up on top of the fencing to some extent and fire at the the bunk before dropping down to get to his bike he will kind of hang back enough to make sure that it's catching on fire Mm -hmm. um and it does seem to be (laughs) sparking because you guys have now started a fire um (laughs) in middle green so worth it the building is starting to go up a little bit because it's kind of dry over there it's summertime um, um, so it is, it is firing up with my sharp wit. Can I try to sound like Stephanie in any way on the other side of that wall as well? Like I'm like, I realize that's, that's rough with sharp wit, but I, or my brains or something like, cause if I'm on the other side of that wall, now I'm helping with the distraction. Like I'm, I am trying to pull focus over there. 
But I think Troy was so successful, you can just jam our way. And I think the fire I'm, is a big I'm enough through the hole. I'm through the hole. I'm on the other side of the fence. There is no jamming your way. Yeah. He sent me through the hole. He said, go, because I rolled so low on my <laughs> flight. I was going to get us caught. I stopped where I was. I said, you and, <laughs> and Stephanie keep going, and I'm on the other side. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say... I'm gonna. I would personally go towards grit because it would be more like street smarts to me. Okay. But if you really feel strongly about it being brains, we can go brains. No, grit's great. Love okay. that. Love love that for me. <laughs> I'm scared. You should be. Oh no, eighteen. Oh, no. Oh, okay. oh, 18. Oh, oh. You managed to successfully pull off a mimic of Stephanie's voice shouting whatever it is. I talked to her. Um, help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm yelling for help. The the people that are in the building, they they do come rushing out, but they're not paying attention to around because now there's a fire. They hear the kid shouting. They heard the noise, so now they think it's all connected, and they are running, yeah, I, trying to get into that building. And I I am mentally telling you, like, fucking go, go. We're and running go like fast. the fucking wind to that office. All right, so you get to the office. It is locked, of course. Stephanie, I need you to get in there and and break the door and the lock so as you roll do. Roll some brawn for Stephanie. That's only yeah. a D six. Oh no, that's mine. Never mind. Oh, D twenty. Yeah, she's freakishly strong. Her should be high. Come on, Steph. Thirteen. All right, she very successfully breaks off that door handle. That was her solution to it, but you know she used her strength, got you in. Sweet. Okay, now to the safe. To the safe. So you go in, you see. Pretty standard office, big desk, things like that. This is actually fairly modernized for a place that's been abandoned for years. Uh This is a clear sign that it ain't been abandoned as long as anybody believes it has been. It's very nice. Very, like, (laughs) (laughs) cream-colored. You know the... You know the... Very sterile. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. the worst. (laughs) So, and you do see a safe sitting off to the side of the desk. Okay. Um, Stephanie, I need you to use your strength one more time, and I just, I need you to get that safe open. And you are, you are in control of her. How is she going to do this? She is going to use her freakish strength to just break the lock so that it pops open. Roll, roll again on her brawn. I'm scared. <laughs> we, we got this. That's can, a nine. can she use her belief in our destiny together to like really push through this because there's only so much time. Like, like she, she, Stephanie believes that we have a destiny and we are all together, even though like she's left. So So I'll let you, I'll let you roll one more time and we'll take the higher of the two rolls. So you got a nine right now. Uh huh. All right. Roll again and we'll see if you, whichever one is higher. A six. So the nine is higher. Uh, I would say she's she's struggling to break that lock. She's dented the safe. Ugh. Um, if you feel like you've what got you, time, you can keep trying. What do you have can in your kit with us? What do you have in your backpack? What do, what do the both of you have in your backpacks? She doesn't really have anything. No, she, she has. Okay. She's got a flashlight. Flashlight. Now. What do you have? I have glitter and a Walkman and books. And I have flashlights. I have fire. I Is need. that glitter flammable? It might be. Can I have spare like, candles. I have lighters, so, matches, yeah, throwing yeah. stars, teepee. What I, would, I could set a fire. Well, what what I'm telling you in your brain is, can you like pack the lock with the glitter and then like set it on fire, almost like like a C4 or something to like fuck yeah, like explode the lock. And I'll throw the TP on there for Kim. Yeah, yeah, like, because even it. even if that doesn't fully unlock it, maybe it'll make it easier for her Forget to break it. the lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have you. Roll flight. For me or for Steph? For you. And then if she's going to try and break it again following whatever happens, then you'll roll uh, brawn for her and we'll see. But we'll, let's see how you do. I got one. Oh, God. <laughs> so you pass so, it in there. So it's just a beautiful <laughs> safe now. <laughs> it's just kind of a hot so mess. Like glittery. Um, if Stephanie is still, like, gold to try and, like, Break it again. You can roll her yes, brawn. Yes. <laughs> Two of you just look ridiculous and are both covered, covered in, glitter. in glitter. Both of you. Six. <laughs> so, <laughs> dance it again. I. I. But nothing I'm, is I'm relating this to Troy. I'm like, I have to find another way 
in there. Like, I have to Can help. we pick up the safe? She's strong. We're obviously not going to break it right now. Can we pick it up and move it and take it somewhere to where we can later? <laughs> Don't. Well, wait. I can't get into the fucker. Wait, is everything in the safe or are the pages somewhere loose around? The pages are most likely in the safe. That's what she okay. believes. That's what Along at least Stephanie the believes. The typewriter and the... Uh, Okay, I'm Did leaving you, Stephanie to try just and just bash like the shit out of the like. She's eleven. She can have a tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you're going for, we can go with a tantrum. Yes, let's go for a tantrum. And while she's having the tantrum, I'm looking through everything else to make sure those pages aren't anywhere yeah. in a desk or anywhere else, bookshelf, etc. And I'm desperately trying to find to get like back. a safer way inside or some way that I can help. Okay. So as you are like digging through the 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 drawers and the the space, um, you're not really finding anything. You do see like property ownership stuff, maybe a couple of like letters about like, oh yeah, no, we we're gonna set up a nice coffee shop and you know I think maybe a bigger grocery store, something a little like more modern, more cream, more cream. <laughs> We got to get rid of that B&B, though. It's very... And and the woman who runs it, things like that. Mm. Changes that Annie would like to make to this town. Um, So, what I'm going to have you do, because eventually Stephanie's tantrum is going to work. Mm -hmm. What we're going to see is how long it's going to take Stephanie's tantrum to work. Okay. So, uh, let's roll a D4. Oh, Okay. And uh, it's going to be like golf. We want a low number. Okay. One. Okay. She Lovely. She's finally able to fucking Lovely. just batter the shit out of it enough that the door finally cracks open. And you see inside a briefcase, which you assume probably is holding the papers. Uh-huh. And then you see the typewriter. Uh-huh. And I mean, her inclination is to grab the typewriter. And she is like freakishly strong. So yeah. it's in one of those cases, you know. Yeah. yeah. She's able to grab it. But great. Grab the typewriter. I immediately put the papers on the floor and set them ablaze. Okay. So you've got a fire started in the middle of the office. Yep. And we're booking it the fuck out of there. All right. Which... Did you open the briefcase and look at what the pages are? Yes. Though? Okay. Open, took everything out, saw the pages for the personalities and torched them. All right. So how are you leaving? The same <laughs> way we came in. You're going to go pass a fire and the people trying to get into a bunk, which they have now probably found is empty. Oh, hell. <laughs> I've been looking for another way another, in this whole time. Yeah. Did you find something, That's anything? What I'm asking. So, roll me some brains. Can Troy help? He's, I asked <laughs> for his help. Yeah, sure. He'll, he'll, he'll get you seven. <laughs> he got a seven. Oh, shit. You well, I got 11 on okay, my brains. You know what? So. You, you do, like, looking around, uh, to you, Sarah, the most likely best exit, especially at this point, because I assume you guys are communicating yes. telepathically, would just be the actual entrance to this property. Uh, you've got a freakishly strong child who can bust the gate that's locked. Okay. And that would be just taking this path, because there's the office, just run right out. So Beautiful. So, I've grabbed linen. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I've grabbed lemon and I've tied the handlebars like I, <laughs> like I do. Uh huh. Um, and I've pedaled Hearst, pulling lemon behind me. Okay. And if I have to have Troy also tie it to help keep it up, I would ask him to do that. But if I don't have to do that, I've pulled lemon around to the gate, and I'm I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And I've told like told you that I'm waiting. Yeah. Are you there? So Stephanie books it, breaks the gate, we bust right. out. Stephanie hops on my handlebars or yours or whatever, yeah. and we get the fuck out. That's that is the plan. Okay, so roll flight. Both Every, of us. Everybody, everybody rolls flight. Mm, let's see how well everybody gets away from here. Oh God, three. three <laughs> I oh only six, had a D so four, so minus four. <laughs> I thought four. Oh no, was I'm your, sorry. Yeah. No, no, fight is D four. Hang on. Oh, an eleven. Beautiful. Okay. Um. Everybody's getting away, but you know what? You, you the, There's definitely been some eyes on you from within the property, <gasps> but they're not chasing after you. 
Because obviously this is not going to look good. Well, I so. we burned the papers. Yeah. They're burning. Like They've got they've got two buildings on fire at this point. Uh-huh. They we are arsonists. <laughs> <laughs> they see you, but they are not following you. So you do escape. Where do we come out at? We're out over here and down this yeah, path. Yeah, you guys would have had to have met right here. So wherever you're going from here. We're just, going home. I need mom. I miss my No, mom. we have to go someplace where she can type on yeah, the typewriter. Yeah, let's go home. That is is that not far? I feel like that's far. Home is we just can, right here. We can go to the bar, and <laughs> it's so much closer. People aren't going to notice children at the bar. It's Darnell's. I just worry at home, I, mom's going to protect us and not let strangers get us we at the bar. We couldn't even find mom. We don't know that mom wasn't got. I just burned all the paper. Uh, and they were still staring at us. We came out right, like, here. Yeah, that's the road you took. We can literally hang a left and If we're not Darnell's. going home, let's go somewhere that's not lit. Let's go hide in the woods, grab some paper from somewhere, and get to typing. I mean, I feel safe at the cemetery, but I realize that that is very close to where we just were. A little too close to the crime scene. Um, where are we going to get paper? That's open. What about the well, theater? the library is probably not open, but we can definitely get into the library. I don't know that we're finding paper at the theater. <laughs> we can sneak in one of the schools. Let's but do that. But that's close to. Let's break into one of the schools. The elementary school? Sure. All that's right. the closest. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are riding for the elementary school. Yeah. Um. So let's see how well you break into it, I guess. Uh, that's going to be Braun. Whoever wants to try and do it. I don't know if you're sitting Stephanie. I think we're getting Stephanie to do it. Yeah. Do you want to roll for her? It's a D20. Uh, sure. Is she getting any pluses? Or is it just nah, a straight just D20? A D20. Eight. Uh, she, I mean, it's not that well. Like, your schools are not fairly, like, It's an mild. elementary school. Yeah. Like, and uh, it's and, the and, 80s. I yeah, feel like they don't really lock the doors. Like, so she breaks in pretty easily. It's fine. You get inside. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, we're, we're, I, we gotta cool. sit her down. The supply closet? Yeah, closet. like, just sit, yeah, we gotta Head sit her down the supply someplace. closet, grabbing paper. You find a quiet spot for her to, like... Yeah. All right, so then Stephanie is rewriting her mother. Yes. yes. That power is in your control, Sarah. What is she rewriting her mother to do? Um, be kind and accepting and not want to lock Stephanie away and not want to change things just for the sake of changing them. Um, but yeah, kind, accepting, and not want to lock Stephanie away, and not want to control the typewriter power, but to allow Stephanie to grow and learn it herself. And also to take care of her kid. To take care of her her. kid and help Stephanie learn to be responsible with the typewriter power. With her power. All right. So roll brains for Stephanie. Oh, for Stephanie. Uh, what's uh, her? It's going to be a D12. Okay. Oh, hey. Five. She struggles a little bit to find ways to type those words sometimes without an N, because she doesn't have an N. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fair. Oh, shit. Um, she does okay. She, she does fine, but it is maybe, you know, there were some words in there that she swapped out that are garbage. Um, so the effectiveness may not be quite as powerful as you hoped, but it is done. It is written and it is done. And uh, with that, that is the the end of our our mystery here. So, with the pages burned, disorder is restored to the town of Middle Green. Woo-hoo! The Ronalds Ooh. are back to fun line cook dad. Dad Rock is resuming their tour. Yes, Barbara. Ann. <laughs> Barbara Ann is talking divorce. <laughs> Mm. Yes. Like, <laughs> yeah. Good for Barbara Ann. We support her. Old Blue is back in front of the gas station. Oh. And any visits to the old loggers living quarters shows it to be devoid of all life and now kind of burnt to a crisp. <laughs> Sorry uh, about that town. <laughs> it seems that the Crimson, as Annie liked to call them, the cult with the goal of the perfect quaint little town has cleared off for now. 
they do still own the property. Old Blue tried his best to convince Mayor Avery of the nefarious plots, but his advanced age proved to be the point of leverage that Avery held against him to prevent any other adults in town to really believing that the threat had been real. No one has seen the Smiths recently either. Their house is quiet and has very little traffic if ever watched. Uh, where they've gone is mystery as well. And like many other mysteries in Middle Green, sometimes it's best not to pull that thread. Mm. But what of the little girl? The one who could write someone a whole new personality. Where will she go? And what will she do? She will come and stay with us. And we will, sure she so. will be our little sister, and we will love her and teach her and torture her and all she the things. She even has an S name. I know. <laughs> it's perfect. Also, she's going to be my, like, trump card to give mom a big ass. I told you so. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like we need her. Yeah. <laughs> we should have had her write that into it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end. <gasps> Good job. We saved the world. <laughs> we, did, well, we saved our world. <laughs> I liked our fucked up little town and no one's fucking yeah. it up more except for us. Right? Yeah. I think Stephanie is part. She's our people. Yeah. She's part of our tribe. Yeah. All right. There you go. Stephanie, Good job. Sarah, and Sass. We did it. Yay. I can't believe you did that whole game and we didn't go anywhere yeah. near it the last time oh. around. <laughs> yes. Holy shit, how you were not screaming at us, I do not know, but I really respect. <laughs> yeah? Because I would have been. next time. I am your GM, Kat. Sarah Winchester was played by Taryn, and Sassy Winchester was played by Megan. <laughs>